Hi, I'm Alan. I'm the owner of IntelliQuip Solutions. I've had 30 years of experience in the industry. I started out as an electrician with qualifications in special class industrial electronics. And then in the last 30 years, I've got varied experience right through audio visual, through refrigeration, through electronics and through contracting. And my passion has always been from day one, product development and research and development. And we're excited to actually then work with with Kings on their product range and we've managed to bring our premium product design and experience and yet bring the price down to where you're getting extremely good value for money and you're arguably getting the best value, best quality DC to DC charger on the Australian market. We started um, developing DC chargers because the first product that we wanted to launch to the Australian market was a comprehensive battery box solution that people could install themselves and it would provide a premium product that would cover all of their needs and it would tell them how well it was charged and, and give them inputs and it would give them peace of mind when they're out there and they know what they're doing with their systems, right? So part of that though, we need to put an onboard DC to DC charger, right? Our initial one was in the 10 to 15 amp bracket. Um, we then launched that to the market a couple of years ago and we've seen that to develop into dual battery systems was just a necessary step for us to continue on our development journey. And that's led us to developing a 25 amp DC to DC charger for Kings. Fortunately at IntelliQuip Solutions, it's not just me because to put these products together requires a team of dedicated people who have the same passion as I have to make exceptional products. And so we have um, a mechanical engineer, which is Jeff, who oversees the product development and the manufacturing development. We also have a micro uh, electronic and firmware engineer, Martin, who takes care of our firmware programming. Um, we also have um, some other hardware engineers that get involved as we need to, and we use other um, people for their skills on a part-time basis when we require. And my position is to oversee um, the whole projects and to bring it all together and use my background and experience to add to coming up with a quality product that, that's just different and, and it fills in what the customer's looking for, not what we want to make for a price that they'd like to buy it for. The qualified engineers I um, employ become an extension of myself in that they do an incredible job and all the legwork in all their different disciplines and they bring so much experience and passion and drive to the table. They do the work in that area and then they'll bring back problems for us to discuss and then we'll resolve where we're gonna go from there. And so the combined effort of everybody putting their best foot forward is what leads us to be able to come up with products that are the right price and the quality that we come up with. So IntelliQuip Solutions is an Australian based company. We are Australia wide and we have technicians around the country. Our R&D and product development happens right here in Brisbane. In Brisbane we have all of the setup to do all our own testing. We've built specialised heat testing rooms to do all of the thermal testing. And we have the technical ability and all the test equipment to manage and test and produce quality electronic products. When we do a design, obviously we sit with the engineers and we do the design, we choose the components we want and we do the design. We then build a prototype, but the prototype we have to prove that it's gonna work. And when we send it out in the real world, we have to prove that it's gonna give you a valuable product for a very long time. And so part of the way we achieve this is obviously we do testing on the bench to get it functional. And then what we have to do is we have to simulate the worst possible environment for as long as we can to prove that our product will um, perform no matter what happens to it out in the environment. Now part of that is our specialised test room that can go from minus 40 degrees to plus 60 degrees. And it will change its temperature from minus 40 to plus 60 every two hours with varying input and output conditions. And that is a very tough environment for anything to survive in, never mind being in there for days and days or weeks and weeks to see where its weak points are. And so we will test it and we have a variety of temperature and all sorts of thermal equipment on it to find out what's going on, to find where its weak points are. And when we find its weak points, we then modify that part of the circuit and improve its reliability so then it doesn't fail. Then it goes back in the test room until we get it to the point where we know that it's going to be reliable. So the test we did to this charger to make sure that it's ready to go out in the real world was we put it in a test chamber at 60 degrees at full load continuously for days. 
right? We found with our internal temperature monitoring that the internal temperatures got up to around 95 degrees and yet it could still continually put out 25 amps at 60 degree ambient without failing. Now after we do the um, heat chamber testing and it passes all those tests, then we need to actually go out and test it in the real world to find out if there's parts of the design that, that don't work for some reason or there's something to do with interfacing to a vehicle or some environment where we could then improve our design. And so over the last five years, our product has been to Uluru, it's been to Broome. We've had a field trial on test for two years on a commercial, on a, um, commercial charter boat in Weepa to find out how it performs in marine environments and the harsh northern summer environment. We've also been to Fraser multiple times, it's been to Morton, it's been travelling all over the countryside and we've logged up many, many hours of testing. This year, this charger was put into a camper and went on a charity ride we sponsored and every minute of its charging was logged for five and a half thousand kilometres over about 20 days and it came back and then our engineers could look at the data logs and you could see exactly what happened continually 24 hours a day on what our charger was doing so that then we could look at it and see whether we needed to adapt it or change it. This DC to DC charger is very competitive in the Australian market because of its quality and its price. Now it took a lot of research to look at all of what was on the Australian market and find out how they're manufacturing and why they're all so expensive and yet some of them the features even the features they claim don't work very well. And so we did our time and we assessed the market properly. We then decided that the only way to make it affordable to the Australian market at the price it should be would be to manufacture it in China. Now, people go, oh, manufactured in China, obviously there's a quality problem. Well, if you look around your house, most of the electronics you have around you in your house that's reliable every day is made in China. And the difference between the things that you say are Chinese cheap and they're rubbish, and the things that are quality which you use every day, is the fact that the quality and the monitoring of the manufacturer has been handled by a Western company. And so what we decided to do was we would be there when they manufacture it, we would make sure that they use the components we specified, and we would make sure every item is tested to our requirements before it's passed and put in a box. Myself and my mechanical engineer, Jeff, flew to China, and we were in the production, in the factory, for every hour they were producing the product. We built the testing rigs, we supervised the testing, and about every 15 minutes we would go and have another look at make sure the people who are doing the testing were still following the procedure. And I personally was there to make sure with regular checks and monitoring that every product that we produced has passed all of the testing spec and it performs correctly before it went in the box. A DC to DC charger is going to be put in a hot environment, it's going to be in the sun, it's going to be a vibration, it's going to have the worst possible scenario and then some of it will even be in a marine environment where it's got to put up with corrosion. And so when we choose the design and choose the components, we have to base them on that. So for this design, we've actually used industrial electronic range of components which have a higher temperature rating than the normal components and obviously they cost more. We've also worked with companies like Linear and their engineers in Australia. Linear um, technology actually are the world's leading provider of DC to DC control chips and they are, would be in most of your DC to DC chargers would use this technology. The chip that we've chosen actually has the onboard charger and does the DC to DC in the buck boost configuration. Um, we also, the company of Panasonic is what provides these capacitors and it's all about how long they can survive in the heat. And they're all, if you make them work hard, they're all gonna die eventually, but these ones will last an extremely long time because they've been designed specifically with DC to D buck boost chargers in mind. I see why things fail. I see how high current continually makes things fail. Now, when you have high current through a joint, if it's not correctly soldered or correctly mechanically fixed, the slightest bit of looseness or gap or um, little bit of dirt or something in that joint and it will fail. And as soon as it starts to get hot, it will get hotter until it fails. And so to remove that point of failure from our product, what we've done is we've actually got the copper wire and the actually ultrasonically welded directly to a copper lug, which is then soldered directly to the board in a mechanical way where it cannot fail. And this is a point on some of the other charges we looked at where the wire is either soldered directly to the board 
or it's put with a screw through a lug. And anything comes loose in that scenario and you'll have a failure. Whereas with ours, the failure rate will be non-existent because it cannot come off that lug. The team at IntelliCrypt Solutions are very excited and pleased to launch this product to the Australian market. Our passion in electronics development and engineering, you would have to come and visit our, our workshop for a few days to realise of how engineers operate and how excited we can get about something that you'd look at this and go, well, this is just bits and pieces. But we do, we really love working on this and coming up with ideas and providing solutions to um, product um, constraints. And so we put our heart and soul in this. The whole product has been done in-house um, by our engineers here. So even the 3D drawing of the models and the labels is all done in-house here. We deal direct with the factory and we will go there and do our designs and monitor the quality and get the product made to Western spec and quality and yet bring it into the Australian market at a price point that no one else can match. And this is exactly what we've done with this DC to DC charger, is we've done the design in-house, we've tested it, we've assessed the market to make sure that it is as good or better than any of the other products in the Australian market. We are a very small company in Australia and we are very excited to be working with Kings on this and a range of other products that we'll bring to the Australian market that follow the same motto that we are young and we do innovate with new technology and we really think about and monitor our design and Kings do the same and Kings are the same as they are making sure that they're giving you a product that is the minimum price they can give you with the most value and that is exciting to see how the whole market is changing and people the customers are the winners because they're getting much more value for money than what they've traditionally been used to.